Okay, in this example, we have three fractions we need to add together. Three-fourths plus four-ninths plus seven-twelfths. So look at these numbers, four, nine, and twelve. I need a common denominator, and it needs to be a multiple of all three of those numbers. So how do I find this? Well, here's what I do in my mind to find this. You could write them all out and factor them, but um, sometimes it's easiest just to take the largest one, 12, and start counting by 12s until you come to a number that is also a multiple of the other, and in this case, a multiple of the other two. So 12 is a multiple of four, but it's not a multiple of nine. So instead of 12, let's move on to 24. 24 is a multiple of four, but it's not a multiple of nine. So let's try uh, 12 times 3. That's 36. 36 is a multiple of 4 and a multiple of 9. And it's, of course, a multiple of 12. So 36 is my least common denominator. So I need to rewrite all three of these fractions with the denominator of 36. So 3 fourths is going to be something over 36. And 4 ninths will be something over 36 and 7 twelfths will be something over 36. Okay, 4 times what is 36? 4 times 9. So we need to also multiply the 3 times the 9, and 3 times 9 is 27. Now 9 times what is 36? 9 times 4. So I have to also multiply the 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 ninths is equal to 16 36. And 12 times what is 36? 12 times 3 is 36. So I also multiply the 7 times 3. And 7 times 3 is 21. So now instead of adding 3 fourths and 4 ninths and 7 twelfths, I can add the three other fractions that are equal to those, 27 over 36, 16 over 36, and 21 over 36. So we'll write that. 27 over 36 plus 16 over 36 plus 21 over 36. And 27 plus 16 plus 21 Let's come over here and work that out. 27 plus 16 plus 21. 7 and 6 is 13, plus 1 is 14, so I carry, and then 1 and 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, so 64. So this equals 64 over 36. And I immediately notice that both of these numbers are even, so they can be divided by 2, so let's do that. Divide each one by 2, and 64 divided by 2 is 32, and 36 divided by 2 is 18. And these two numbers are still even numbers. I can divide both of those by 2 again. 32 divided by 2 is 16, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. 16 over 9 is my answer. It can't be simplified any further. And we'll do a couple of examples involving subtraction. It's done the same way. We just find the least common denominator and then do the subtraction. So 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. Well, notice that 6 is a multiple of 3. So I just need to rewrite 2 thirds. 2 thirds is how many sixths? 2 thirds is equivalent to 4 over 6. So instead of saying, two-thirds minus one-sixth, I can say four-sixths minus one-sixth. So four over six minus one over six, and that's easy to do. That's equal to three over six. We just did four minus one and got three, and it's all over six. And three-sixths can be reduced to one-half. And now 3 fourths minus 8 fifteenths. Well, we need a least common multiple here 
4 times 15 is 60. And multiplying the two denominators will always give you a common multiple. It won't always give you the least common multiple, but it will always give you a common multiple. In this case, 4 times 15 is 60, and that is the least common multiple. So I'll rewrite the 3 fourths with a denominator of 60 and the 8 fifteenths with a denominator of 60. Now 4 times what is 60? 4 times 15. So let's also multiply the 3 times 15 and that gives me 45. Over here, 15 times what is 60? 15 times 4 is 60. So I multiply the 8 times 4 also, and 8 times 4 is 32. So 3 fourths minus 8 fifteenths will be the same thing as 45 over 60 minus 32 over 60. 45 sixtieths minus 32 sixtieths. And we can just do 45 minus 32. And 45 minus 32, 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, it comes out to 13. 13 over 60, and that's our answer. 13 is prime, so it can't be reduced any further.